Hello everyone, welcome to this week's Astrology News Report, presenting an alternate view of world events as seen through the lens of Vedic Astrology. I'm Ron Berger, today is July 22nd, 2018. In this segment we'll take a look at the week that was and see how the planet's patterns in the zodiac matched up with the past week's events. But before we begin, an important announcement. The Astrology News Report needs some financial support to keep going. Even ten bucks helps, but you can donate any amount. Just click or tap on the link at the end of the video. Thanks. As I have been reporting for the past several weeks, when Mars is retrograde and conjunct K2, actions have unintended consequences and there can be a sense that things are spiraling out of control. And with Mercury, planet of communications and the media, opposite to and being influenced by Mars, the situation is one of the narrative spinning out of control. And so it was last week. President Trump went to Europe, and it didn't exactly go well. First with the tumultuous meeting with NATO allies in Brussels, and then with Prime Minister May in England, and then there was the Helsinki summit. Mr. Trump seemed to get along fine with Mr. Putin, but there was this little question of what did Mr. Trump promise Mr. Putin in that two-hour-long, very private meeting? And then there was the very bizarre joint press conference that followed. In one jaw-dropping moment, Trump dissed his own intelligence chiefs, preferring Mr. Putin's denials on the critical question of Russia's cyber attacks targeting American democratic institutions. Some dubbed the Trump-Putin meeting the Surrender Summit. On Twitter, the trending hashtag was treason summit. Senator John McCain called it one of the most disgraceful performances by an American president in memory. So, why is he doing this? Everyone is asking. Does Putin indeed have compromat on Trump? Are the Russians holding something over the President of the United States, thereby keeping him in compliance? Going back to Trump's natal chart for clues. He is in his Jupiter major period. Jupiter rules Sagittarius and Pisces, thereby activating his fifth and eighth houses. The fifth house is speculation and investments. The eighth house is financial involvements. Fifth house is also his children. Eighth house is also clandestine actions. Jupiter Representing all of this, manifests its karma in his second house of personal finances and family. As Donald Jr. said in an interview a decade ago, Russians make up a pretty disproportionate cross-section of a lot of our assets. Sounds like a lot more than a pee-pee tape is involved here. And now we have the retrograde Mars K2 combinations transiting in Trump's sixth house, the house of struggle and difficulty and enemies. Retrograde Mars is the planet of action going back over the past. K2 is the eclipse point representing past karma, in other words, the unseen dimension. Upcoming, we have a total lunar eclipse in this exact same area of Trump's chart. And this week Mercury goes retrograde in Cancer, which is Trump's 12th house, the house of loss, uncertainty, foreigners, and the masses. Translation, more problems ahead, especially regarding Trump's communication to the people. In other words, the media narrative. Another point that kept coming up during the Trump-Putin joint press conference and afterwards when reporters interviewed Trump was whether or not he believed the reports and warnings from his own intelligence agencies. And his response was, 
I don't know if I believe them. This gets to another important element in Trump's natal chart. His natal Jupiter is retrograde. Jupiter is the planet of belief, the planet of truth. When Jupiter is retrograde in a natal chart, it means the person seeks the truth from within. In other words, their own internal belief system supersedes what the external or societal or generally accepted truth or belief is. And this natal Jupiter in his chart is in his second house, the house of speech. So, he speaks his own truth, which may or may not jive with generally accepted facts. Oh yes, and notice that Neptune, the planet of fantasy, is quite close by. Now, another factor in his chart that backs this up. The ninth house is the house of religion, of belief. For Leo rising, Mars is the ruler of the ninth house, and for Mr. Trump, that planet is conjunct his ascendant degree, the most personal point in a natal chart. In other words, Mr. Trump identifies with his beliefs. And, since the planet is Mars, the planet of action and force, he's not shy about putting his beliefs out there and defending what he believes. Is there some real connection between Trump and Putin? As it turns out, we do have a plausible birth chart for Mr. Putin. Here we see a Libra ascendant. Libra is the quintessential sign of one-on-one -on -one relationship. Libra is skilled at creating harmony in relationship. And there, in his first house, is Venus, the planet of relationship and vanity. Now, note that in Mr. Putin's chart, there are a whole bunch of planets in Virgo, in the twelfth house, the house of hidden actions, which seems appropriate for someone who spent so much of his time as a secret service operative. Also, the twelfth house is the subconscious. Strength in the twelfth house shows Mr. Putin's strength comes from his understanding of psychology. Also, his natal sun, planet of power, and natal Saturn, planet of control, are in this house, which is also the house of the masses. Putin is a natural autocrat. Please note that Putin's natal Saturn is at 24 degrees Virgo. This becomes important. Now, take Mr. Putin's Virgo planets and insert them in Mr. Trump's chart, and you see a big connection with Trump's second house, his house of personal finances and values, and Mr. Putin's twelfth house of hidden activities. Now, note how Mr. Putin's natal Saturn, planet of control, exactly lines up with Trump's natal Jupiter, planet of personal truth, and prosperity. Hmm, so this is interesting. Okay, perhaps we'll explore this topic further in a future episode. And now, before leaving you, my pitch for donations. It does take a lot of time and effort to put these videos together. A big thank you for those who are helping to keep the Astrology News Report going. You too can become a supporter. Just click on or touch the donation card you see here, which will take you to the donation page. Thanks, and until next week.